For the next seven weeks, the ATP World Tour heads to North America for the summer hardcourt swing. Stand by for six tournaments before the US Open. Incredible again. Oh, it's done. What a shot. The swing begins with the BB&T Atlanta Open, one of four events in the US Open series. Last year, Nick Kyrgios claimed his debut US title. It's on to America's capital for the City Open. Washington is the only 500-level event in North America. And 2016 saw Gael Monfils claim his first 500-level trophy with a hard-fought win over Ivo Karlovic. Elsewhere that week, Los Cabos hosts the Abierto Mexicano de Tennis Mifel, presented by Cinemex, for the second consecutive year. Ivo Karlovic was the last man standing at the inaugural event a year ago. In 2017, the US Open Series returns to Montreal, where Rafa Nadal will be seeking to reclaim number one in the Emirates ATP rankings at the Rogers Cup. The first ATP Masters 1000 event of the summer, the Canadian event alternates annually between Toronto and Montreal. Last year, Novak Djokovic reigned supreme. It's on to Cincinnati for the Western and Southern Open, the second ATP Masters 1000 of the summer. Last year, Croatia's Marin Cilic broke through to claim his first ATP Masters 1000. The Winston-Salem Open caps the US Open series at Wake Forest University. Pablo Correno Busta claimed his maiden ATP World Tour title there last year. The summer comes to a climax in New York City for the US Open. Where last year, Stan Wawrinka stood tall in the Big Apple, claiming his third major. So, as the battle for number one in the Emirates ATP rankings continues, fans are in for another exhilarating summer of tennis stateside, where anything can happen. Oh, he's made it. <laughs> Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, the tournaments keep on coming. We're in Hamburg, Gstaad and Atlanta. And we spend some quality time with the dynamic Donald Young. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on the ATP's official social network, MyATP, now on Pixlet, and on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. See you next week.